Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to provide uh, solutions for this uh, MCQs, which is uh, frequently asked in uh, Basic Electrical Engineering lab. So lab exam going on from Monday onwards uh, in most of the colleges. So one of my subscriber uh, sent this material to me and he requested uh, to provide solutions for this uh, listed questions. Okay guys, uh, let we can uh, start uh, one by one. In circuit analysis, network reduction technique, which of the following laws are used? Ohm's law, KCL, KVL. So for this correct option is all of the above. See, uh, Kirchhoff current law, uh, we can find current, okay, in a, in a current in each and every branches. So KVL is used to determine current in a loop. Ohm's law is used to find current or voltage or resistance in a particular circuit for whole circuit or for a particular circuit. All these are strongly applicable in network analysis, but um, a little bit uh, not applicable in, in network reduction technique. Okay, network reduction means the circuit will get reduced. That is called a network reduction. For example, how to find effective, if you take uh, some uh, circuit, effective resistance. Okay, uh, having uh, any number of uh, 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 more than 10 to 10 or 15 resistors may be connected in series and parallel. Ultimately, we are going to reduce that uh, effective res uh, overall uh, resistive circuit to one resistor. That is called a reduction method. Okay. And even star delta conversion. That is also network reduction. However, all this clearly uh, related to network analysis. So, because they are given in circuit analysis, circuit or network, both are same. So, for this uh, favorable option is uh, all of the above. Next is, in a pure inductor, the voltage dash current by dash. Okay, they give an option leads 90 degree, lags 90 degree, leads 120 and lags 120. See guys, look at here. So in a pure inductive circuit, if I apply voltage, if I apply voltage to the circuit, then the current, then the current uh, lags by 90 degree. Okay, this pen is not frightening. So, need not to worry, we can take some other pen. Okay, this is a current. In pure inductive circuit, with respect to voltage, current lags by 90 degree. So, as per this, uh, in pure inductive, the voltage, the voltage, see, we taken, we taken reference as voltage. I define current in that circuit, in the inductor. Suppose if the reference is current, if the reference is current, then obviously voltage going to lead the current by 90 degree. Voltage leads current by 90 degree. So we can conclude that in a pure inductive, in a pure inductor, the voltage leads. So here we can write the voltage leads the current by 90 degree. See, they asked in a reverse way. Actually, for a <laughs> inductor, if I apply some voltage, we can find current in that inductor lags by 90 degree. But they are taken reference as current. With respect to current, voltage leads the current by 90 degree. Both are true. Current lags voltage by 90 degree, that is also correct. Or voltage leads current by 90 degree. That is true for pure inductor. Next, which of the following is not an advantage of three phase system? See, if I use three-phase system, less conductor material uh, is required to transmit same amount of power. It is good advantage. And we get two levels of, uh, two voltage levels are available. Yes, we can uh, get uh, phase voltage and uh, line voltage in three-phase system. Uh, parallel operation is also possible, easily, easily possible. And uh, all these three are correct. Torque developed is not more uniform. See, in three-phase system, Torque developed is it going to produce uniform torque, but they given not more uniform. So which of the following is not means this one. Okay, torque developed is not more uniform it is not an advantage. Correct advantage is torque developed is also uniform. Next is the main function of transformer is to transfer power from one circuit to other circuit to increase voltage to decrease voltage to maintain voltage. See, favorable option is this one. Of course, we can get uh, output of the transformer in secondary uh, 
uh, output voltage more than input or less than input or same voltage that is step up or step down that comes under types of transformer actual transformer function is uh, to transfer power from one circuit to other circuit that is whatever the power in primary so transfer to secondary side okay next is earth thing is reducing the potential of the body of the equipment to earth potential raising the potential of equipment to line potential maintaining the potential difference between body and earth same as system voltage none of this see correct answer is first option reducing the potential of the body of the equipment to earth potential okay earth potential is zero if a person touches the body of the equipment so equipment body is grounded earth potential is zero if a person touches that equipment body you won't get any shock because the equipment of the body is earthed okay got it next is a dc generator consists of stationary armature rotating field stationary field rotating armature both field and armature are rotating no it is not possible both field and armature are stationary no it is also not recommended any one should be rotate or the other should be stationary so correct option is stationary field rotating armature what do you mean by generator mechanical to electrical so armature is coupled to the mechanical shaft whenever uh, water falls on the turbine turbine shaft is coupled to armature shaft armature also rotates whenever armature rotates it cuts the flux emf will be induced in order to get sufficient induced emf required induced emf we are going to excite uh, field windings okay from the stationary side okay got it uh, the correct option is stationary field rotating armature next which dc motor is preferred when it is to start against the greater load okay see when the load is very high okay uh, we need to prefer series motor because series motors are always recommended to operate at load only okay got it so we should not operate uh, remaining motors we can operate uh, in uh, light load conditions effectively but i load series motor only greater load series only in alternator conductor is stationary field is revolving field is stationary conductor is revolving both revolving at same speed both revolving at different speed guys keep in mind in alternator there is only one speed in alternator we have only one speed that speed is called synchronous speed and it is given by 120f by p so we have types of alternator according to the rotating field that is one is called silent pole other one is non silent pole alternator so we are going to use uh, this option okay this one is a favorable option for this even uh, this is also possible field is uh, stationary conductor is revolving this is applicable for very small alternator but in generating station we are using uh, this type of construction rotating field construction instead rotating conductor for small alternators second option is good okay by keeping in mind power is generated in generating stations so we can recommend this one conductor stationary field is revolving because in generating station it going to develop 11 kilo volts so in order to collect 11 kilo volts if the conductor is stationary we can easily collect it so that is our advantage so eighth one first is the correct option next the slip speed is given by n minus ns ns minus n ns plus n none of the above so correct answer is ns minus n because slip equation is the difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed is called slip okay got it see only uh, in induction motor there will be two speed in induction motor there will be two speed one is called synchronous speed and other one is called uh, rotor speed okay got it next is what is tariff tariff is nothing but rate so the rate at which electrical energy is produced in the plant see they are going to generate uh, power fixing rate for that that itself is called tariff no that is not tariff the rate at which electrical energy is supplied to the consumer okay how much energy consumed by the supplier uh, how much energy is consumed by the consumers 
when supply is given by the uh, supply authority for that how much energy consumer consumes for that fixing a rate that is called a uh, tariff okay got it so favorable option is this one in generating power plant that is different that is uh, generating cost that is higher level topic tariff usually comes in consumer side only okay it uh, it may it may be uh, industrial consumer or domestic consumer or commercial consumers okay a rating structure will be different ultimately the rate at which electrical energy is supplied to the consumers is called tariff okay guys uh, thank you for watching the video okay so like this uh, i have different sets of paper uh, different sets of M mcqs i am going to provide uh, okay in next video okay please uh, like this video and share this video as many friends you know i don't know which college material this is one of the subscribers sent it okay so thanks for watching once again meet you on next video uh, next uh, next uh, few questions of the, in the same pattern